Keybinds. It's probably the most important part of getting good on keyboard and mouse. Today, I'm going to try and help you guys find keybinds that you'll be able to get used to. Alright guys, so a few things I want to quickly mention is that everybody is different. So you need to find keyboard settings that are going to be able to suit you. And well, hopefully this video does help out with that. And if it does, make sure you guys subscribe, like, turn on post notifications. And if this video gets a thousand likes, I will bring out a week three progression video moving from controller to keyboard and mouse. And I will also make a video telling you guys why I switched to keyboard and mouse and why you guys might want to as well. And also make sure to use my support or creator code I'm through in the Fortnite item shop. Thank you for all the legends that are doing it. It really, really does help out. Alright guys, so let's just get into the actual video and helping you guys find keybinds that you can get good with. So a really important part of playing on keyboard and mouse is finding keybinds that are comfortable. You're going to want to find something that is quite close to your moving keys, which is obviously WASD, because the last thing you want to be doing is stretching all the way to the other side of your keyboard just to press a button. And also a quick little tip, if you are an elite gamer like myself, then you might have buttons on the side of your mouse that will help out, you know, switching to keyboard and mouse. If you do have buttons on the side of your mouse, try them out and try and take advantage of them because they can be very, very useful and be easy for a beginner moving to keyboard a mouse. Alright guys, so let's get into the main things you want to focus on when obviously playing Fortnite. That is building, editing, interacting, and by interacting I mean things like opening doors, opening chests, ammo boxes, and also reviving teammates, and obviously pulling out your weapons. Now, these are the four things I would like to say are the main things. So if you are using WASD on your keyboard, you're going to want to try and put all of obviously your building and editing buttons over the left side of your keyboard as close to WASD as they can be, because at the end of the day, you're going to want to try and find comfortable keybinds. Now, as I said, everyone is different, and you may not even want to take that feedback into account. Maybe you just want to use keys from all over your keyboard. But most keyboard players commonly use keys on, obviously, the left side of their keyboard or keys that are close to their moving keys. That is why I edit with E, interact with F, and bring my stairs out with Q. And yes, guys, we are going to be looking at my keybinds later on in the video. But before we do get into my keybinds, something I want to say is just because you're not getting good with your keybinds really quickly doesn't mean they're necessarily bad keybinds. I've only been two weeks on keyboard and mouse, and I'm still getting used to a lot of my keys on my keyboard. It takes time and practice. Let's say, for example, it's been maybe a week and your edit button is still not quite a good one and you're being very slow with your edits and you haven't made any improvement, then I would probably looking into switching your keybinds because at the end of the day, everyone has different keybinds to everyone, if that makes sense. But let's just get into my keybinds and comment down below if you have any questions about them because I'll be replying to every comment like usual. So yeah, let's just get into the keybinds. Alright, so we're in a creative as you guys can see. So I just want to go over and quickly say a few things. Obviously, I've only been on keyboard and mouse for about two weeks. So obviously, I'm still getting used to these settings. And that's one of the reasons I'm making this video right now is because I'm in the learning process of switching. So I can give you guys basically feedback of how I'm basically learning and how long it's taking me to get used to these keybinds. So I've stuck with these keybinds for the whole two weeks I've been playing on keyboard and mouse. So I haven't switched them and who knows, I probably could end up switching. But let's just jump straight in to basically what I use for everything. So, and pretty much before I show you all the keybinds, I just want to show you guys some stuff that might help you on your journey of switching and might actually help you get used to the stuff faster. So let's go ahead with editing. Why I have my editing button as E? Well, I know a lot of people have it as F, but I used to have it as F and I found that pretty comfortable as well. But the reason I switched to E, because obviously right next to the W key, which is the forward key, is obviously the edit button. So when I'm moving forward, it's just so much easier to bring my index finger over to the E button and edit. So honestly, that's why I have my edit button as E. It's just a lot faster. And as you guys can see, I can still move around and edit really, really fast. So if you guys are struggling with editing and maybe you're not as fast as you want to be and you're still using F, maybe try out E. Maybe that might help out. Even though F is really close to WASD, E is just a little bit easier for a lot of people. So maybe if you haven't tried E as your edit button, you're still struggling with editing, try and give that a go. The next thing is my building. And now as you guys might have heard me say at the start of the video, I use my side buttons for my walls and my floor. Now the reason for this is because obviously if you have a mouse with this, take advantage of it. If you find it comfy, just go for it. Go and use the buttons on the side. They're there for a reason and they're much, much easier in my opinion than using keys on the keyboard because I don't know, as a beginner, it's just a little bit more useful. And now you may have noticed my stare button is Q. Now, now at the end of the day, I'm trying to put every single thing that I'm going to be using a lot in games, for example, building as close as WASD as possible. Now, Q is obviously really close to WASD. So when I'm building, I can just really keep all my fingers together and just keep a nice, you know, a nice rhythm to it. You know what I'm saying? As I said at the start of the video, the last thing you want to be doing is making your edit button like J or something. So you have to stretch your fingers along the keyboard. You just want to have your fingers in a really relaxed and really comfortable position. That's like the number one tip. If you guys are playing on a keybinds which you don't find comfortable even after a lot of practice, I would advise changing. Honestly, like that's the number one thing you want to do.
to do. Make your keybinds as comfortable as possible. You don't want to be stretching your hand. You, you don't want to be putting too much effort in all of your hand movement. You just kind of want to keep it really compact and as easy as possible. Now, saying that, some of you guys may be different. Some of you guys may like stretching your fingers across your keyboard. I don't know. Everyone is different. Now, you guys may have actually seen my building key is C or my pulling out my building key. As you guys can see, if I click C, it will switch between my building mode and obviously my pickaxe and stuff like that. So, the reason I have it on C is because obviously I can use my thumb, which is really, really close to everything. Again, I'm trying to go for the most comfy position for my fingers. And C is just really close for that. So say, for example, I'm building, I can just click C and then go back to my pickaxe. And now I have not changed any of my buttons to go for guns. So I press two for the scar, three for the shotgun. And then I can obviously, you know, press all these different numbers for my weapons. Now, yes, I do have to kind of stretch up to number six to pull it out. But at the end of the day, when I'm playing Fortnite, the way I work is I keep my AR in my first slot, my shotgun in my second slot, my sniper or a long distance weapon in my third slot. Or maybe I'll put an SMG in the first one and an AR in the third one. It just really depends. So I keep my guns and important stuff in the first three slots. And I'll always leave my last two slots for things I'm not going to use like really often. For example, my meds. So when you're in a fight and you get shot, you don't just stand there and pull out a mini shield and pop it because obviously they're going to shoot you. What you do is you build yourself in a box a lot of the time. This isn't all the time, but mostly you build yourself in a box and you'll go and pull out obviously your shield or your bandages or whatever. So you don't really need to be getting there as fast as possible. So I kind of just, you know, stretch my finger over and take my time with my meds now. I mean, I have gotten to the point now where I can quickly go and, you know, press number six because it is muscle memory and I have been on keyboard and mouse for about, you know, two weeks now. So the reason I've done this is just purely down to practice and that's how I've actually got used to my binds the fastest. It's just all practice, guys. You're not going to be changing your binds and becoming, you know, the next phase member or anything like that. It all is just a journey of, you know, progression and getting better and better. Now, guys, let's get on to my keybinds. So we've gone over why I use everything, you know. I've gotten really used to using one, one, two, three, four, and five, and six for obviously the numbers to pull out all my meds and stuff like that. Now, a lot of you guys may disagree with me. As I said, everyone's different. All right, guys, so let's get into my binds. So obviously, I have WASD for moving. Um, I have my jumper space bar. My sprint is not bound. Now, we'll get into this in just a second. My crouch is left control. Obviously, my aim and shoot is obviously my left and right click. My reload is R. My use is F. Now, it did used to be E, but I swapped my edit and use button around. So I think F for using stuff did get a little while to get used to. And I'm still kind of getting used to it, I guess you could say, but I'm getting a lot better at it. So as we just literally went over, guys, these are my buttons for obviously pulling out weapons and my pickaxe and stuff like that. As we went over, you know, it's two for my weapons, three and four for my weapons, and then five and six on meds. That's what I do personally, and that's what I've gotten used to. And then my my wall is obviously the buttons on the side of my mouse. Now I'll actually show you what my key what my mouse actually looks like and how I actually do this. There's two buttons on the side of my mouse, and obviously they're the ones I press for my wall and my floor. Then my Q is my stairs. As I said earlier, trying to keep everything as compact and close to, as possible to make it as comfy as possible. My roof is left shift, which another thing I want to say, I'm still not completely used to that. As I said, I am obviously in my second week of progression from keyboard to keyboard and mouse. So this is something I'm still getting used to. Obviously, I'm still getting, you know, better at keyboard and mouse as the days goes on. So hopefully I'll get better at this sometime. My trap is X. Now, this is something I find actually I'm getting used to as well, but it's pretty comfy for me. My place building is obviously the left mouse button. My repair is G. My rotate building is R. Changing build material is my right click. Crouch while editing is my left control. Select building edit is my left mouse button. Now, this is a very common thing. Obviously, just shooting, aiming, you know, placing builds, you know, placing edits and stuff like that. It's all done with the left and right mouse button. That's most commonly what people do. My edit button is obviously E. My toggle harvest tool is L. As you guys know, switching from my building to uh, my weapons and stuff like that is C. And then the rest is fairly default. I don't think I've changed any of this, I don't think. And then from there, guys, all the rest of my keybinds is just stuff for, like, obviously using the brute and stuff, which I haven't changed. That's all pretty much default. So, yes, my keybinds might look stupid to you. But at the end of the day, it's what I find comfortable and it's what I'm getting used to. So, yeah, when you see someone's keybinds, you know, they're just the keybinds that they want to use, okay? Right, so, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really do hope you guys did enjoy. If it did help you out, obviously give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. I want to thank you guys so much for the support recently on the videos. It has been overwhelming and just absolutely insane. So, honestly, from the bottom my heart guys thank you all so so much so if there's anything you could take away from this video is that everyone is going to be used to different keybinds. Everyone's going to find something easier than someone else. For example, a lot of you guys may actually be looking at my keybinds and thinking, what are you thinking? But at the end of the day, it's what I find comfortable and everyone's going to be different. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave it a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Thank you guys all so much for the support recently, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.